From Creamer Media in Johannesburg, this is The Real Crime Report. Process and optimization company Metso has brought its Concord flotation cell technology to Africa for the first time. Mining Weekly recently attended the launch of the first Concord cells in Africa at local steel fabricator Betterect in Krugersdorp. Darren Parker tells us more. METSO has launched the first of its Concord cell high-intensity pneumatic flotation units in Africa through local manufacturing partner Betterect, which manufactured METSO's design in South Africa for the first time. METSO's Concord cell flotation technology is designed to improve the recovery of fine and ultra-fine particles when processing finely disseminated and complex ore grades, as well as declining ore grades. We're launching what we call Concord technology, which is essentially a flotation machine. Um, and the, what is unique about it is really the, its ability to recover fine Valuables, which are always a challenge to do in the absence of a bespoke solution like the Concord. The Concord cell is a flotation uh, technology that is really focused on accelerating kinetics of particles in the flotation. That means that we're trying to fast as fast as possible to the best quality and the best recovery possible. And that helps us reduce the plant footprint, reduce the energy consumption, reduce the amount of spare parts that we need, so reduce, in general, capex and opex by up to 30%. We're trying to process very large volumes at very fine material, so it really helps getting to material that was not processable before, that we couldn't actually recover before. So a lot of those uh, circuits, for example, will send those particles to final tails directly, so directly getting rid of them from the very start or we'll lose them progressively throughout the circuit. So we help reduce the losses greatly with this technology. The Concord cell technology is considered to be more sustainable because the increased recovery of fines and smaller plant footprint helps mining clients to further reduce their energy and water consumption in relation to their metal production targets. As such, the Concord cell has been added to METSO's Planet Positive portfolio, which focuses on the most environmentally efficient technologies that METSO offers. In terms of sustainability, this is what helps us also reduce our carbon footprints because we have to produce a lot less to get to the same results than what other types of technologies would be doing. The Concord cell provides a very high shear environment with increased bubble surface area flux which ensures faster flotation kinetics. It features improved froth recovery and selectivity while forced air allows wider process control and stability for further flotation optimization. We have seen over the last decades that ores tend to be more disseminated, more fine-grained. That means that we need to process a lot more material to get to the same volume of metal at the very end. So mines have tended to become bigger, tonnages have become larger, but also the grinding has increased. That means that we have had to go to very fine particles now. And the fact is that fine particles float in a different way than the typical flotation range. So that has been more difficult, and that's why we have had to develop a technology like the Concord cell to be able to deal with those. And specifically in the African region or in uh, South Africa, you have a lot of plants that are turned around PGMs. And PGMs tend also to be very low grade, very finely disseminated, fine grained. So they tend to be floating at very fine fractions in general. Really what, what, what dictates where you use the technology is are you required to grind very fine to the sort of sub uh, 30, 25 microns. Uh, and that's a problematic area to recover, then that's where you know what, that the technology can actually enable you to recover the material. It's across the spect spectrum, but essentially copper, um, coal as well, metallurgical uh, grade coal, um, lithium, you no know, base metals, battery minerals. For its entry into Africa, METSO chose to work with Betterect to have the units manufactured locally so that these units can be shipped to African sites more efficiently. They are our manufacturing partner and uh, over time we've built a long history relationship with them. Uh, apart from the Concord, they do our thickening equipment, uh, flotation cells, mechanical cells proper. And then of course this is the first for them in Africa to build and that's the level of trust we have with them even when, when we manufacture something that's never been manufactured in, in Africa. We know we can rely on them to partner with them 
course correct as things go to really make sure that the quality of the equipment at the end of the day is at the right level. Our current customer that this unit will actually uh, was manufactured for is based in Zambia. So from a logistics point of view, it just made sense to, to find a manufacturing facility closer to, to their operations in Zambia. And Betarect obviously is much closer than manufacturing in China or Turkey, uh, as you can understand. But obviously, uh, you know, the other key thing about that is obviously customers are looking at minimizing their footprint as well, carbon footprint. So that, that saving of the transportation from far away to here uh, to Zambia as opposed to South Africa to Zambia impacts that uh, uh, emissions. Drone-based services specialist Rocket DNA is simplifying the integration of drones in various industries with the introduction of its expert solution which encompasses the DJI Dock Automates Remote Drone developed by drone specialist DJI Enterprise. Nadim Ramdas has a story. The Drone in a Box export solution range includes the Inspect Bot, Patrol Bot, and Survey Bot. The range is equipped with customizable software from Rocket DNA and operated by its certified remote drone pilots. So that has been quite a game changer in respect of the fact that now you are able to do a rapid surveys in the departments of survey. You are able to collect data as rapid as you may wish to. And the good thing about it is that it has also um, it saves costs for companies. Now you no longer need to uh, invest into a lot of things in terms of getting a pilot to be on site. The solution is versatile and can be used across a variety of industries, such as mining, hospitality and security. It also provides a notable safety advantage by reducing the need to expose drone operators and other personnel to hazardous or risky environments. We are dealing with an issue of uh, illegal mining in South Africa. So there's a lot of places that you wouldn't want to send your personnel there because of the danger, because of the risk that they will surely meet when they get there. While Rocket DNA has seen significant interest from the security industry, the mining industry is also exploring the drone solution, particularly as the DGI Dock drone can be stored on-site at mines and remotely operated to gather various data through its artificial intelligence system. We are able to launch the drone and that AI will collect the information, it will process it for you. With AI, you are able to, uh, those um, duties, the redundant uh, duties, the repetitive duties that uh, personnel will carry out every day have now become automated. So you can use AI to do that. You can use AI machine, machine learning as well to teach your AI what you are looking for, what is it that it should do, and then it is able to make certain decisions for you. Rocket DNA manages the drone's maintenance, thereby enabling customers to focus on their core business while having access to experienced operators evolving drone technology and support. That's Creamer Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy. And don't forget to listen to the audio version of our Engineering News daily email newsletter.